Hey, how's it going? Figured it'd be fun to make another video. I've been uh, pretty inspired by guys like Willem Verbeek lately and Faisal Westcott. Guys that go out and take photos, film some video clips alongside them, and then do a little bit of a recap afterwards. So, might call this series like image notes, not too sure yet, but uh, I figured it'd be fun to take everyone through a recent Toronto FC match that I photographed, uh, specifically the one last weekend. Uh, I believe it was against Charlotte. Um, so this video is gonna take you through some images I took that day, kind of what I look forward to, um, and how I kind of, I don't know, just go about the whole shooting process. So looking forward to taking you through that. Okay, so. Typical TFC match day this year. Uh, kickoff times are always around 7.30 in the evening. Uh, I like to get there a couple hours before then, so around 5.30. Um, you know, we gotta pick up our bibs, gotta pick up our credentials, head to the media room, kind of just get organized, uh, get a feel for the day. Uh, I find, depending on the weather, team we're playing, you know, the energy is always different. Uh, definitely just excited to kind of get going, get the game to be started. Um, you know, from there, I like to pop a wide angle on one of my lenses and just go walk around the stadium. Uh, it's kind of an honor to be able to have that access before you know people come into the stadium uh, when it's quiet. Uh, it's really nice to photograph, especially when the light is pristine. Um, so yeah, on this particular day, I decided to walk up to the east side of the field, um, take some videos, take some photos uh, of kind of the, I don't know, this the back sign through the seats. So I'll pop those images up now. Um, all of these are taken with my 35 millimeter, uh, really trying to use the chairs in the front to kind of frame the BMO sign uh, up on the stanchions of the south end. Um, you know, from there, I like to walk around to the different corner flags. Uh, as you can see here, there's a puddle kind of catching the reflection of the lights, kind of makes for a bit more interesting shot than the typical you know, corner flag in the grass. Um, and then, yeah, um, just like to experiment with different things. Like, uh, there's a bit of a piece of glass partition on the edge here. So kind of through that and frame to get a little bit of a reflection, uh, of the light, uh, and the BMO field sign, just kind of add something in different. Um, yeah. So there's lots to shoot before the match actually starts. Uh, players come up for warm ups about, I think half an hour before kickoff. Uh, first team likes to warm up on the west side of the pitch. Uh, the subs warm up on the east side and they actually warm up pretty close to the stand. So we're able to get quite close and get some nice kind of reaction photos. Uh, photos with real personality. Um, I find, you know, a lot of sports photographers focus on the action during the game. Um, we'll post only photos of the action kind of throughout their Instagram posts or what makes it to the portfolio. But to be honest, like, all these players are people, they have fun with each other, they have fun with their teammates, so it's always nice to kind of capture a more genuine moment. Um, I'll toss this one up here of Lucas McNaughton, so he's a defender that joined us last year. Uh, great player, came from the Canadian Premier League. Um, you know, just kind of a fun smiling shot there of him warming up with his teammates. So once the teams have made their way out into the field, um, you know, the national anthems get played, uh, coin toss happens, which is always fun because uh, we always start on the south side of BMO Field. Um, and once the coin toss happens, we kind of have to wait and see if we're sprinting to the north side if they if they happen to change. Um, TOC's bench is on the, I guess, left side or the south end of BMO Field. So more often than not, they attack north first. So we usually kind of wait in that corner before running around. But um, on Saturday, they ended up, I think they they might have lost the coin toss uh, and Charlotte picked the more favorable end in the first half because of the wind. Um, but uh, only Michael Bradley can tell us that. So, um, but yeah, ended up attacking south first, which is not usually the case. Um, I like to set up a bit closer to the right side. So the southeast end of BMO field uh, with the 400 millimeter, I need a bit more reach. And plus I like being able to show that uh, the west side of the stand in the background. Um, and of course, I got my 7200 on me and a 35, just in case there's a celebration really close um, or corner kicks as well. It's helpful to have that there. So, um, you know, if you watch the game, uh, Bernadeschi scored an amazing Olympico goal uh, off a corner kick. Uh, I was already pretty, 
you know, firmly set up on the opposite side of the goal. So I watched the whole thing happen, but when it came to actually photographing the celebration, um, I was only able to get a couple shots. So I'll toss them up here. Uh, this one here was actually by mistake. Uh, you can, I was probably trying to focus on the actual players running towards uh, Fede, but uh, it ended up pulling on the crowd, which is fine. You get their reaction, kind of get those out of the focus moments of the players throwing their hands up. Um, you know, just a lot of emotion, a lot of fun in this shot. Um, you know, from there, I do like to capture some action shots in play. So focusing on guys like, you know, Jonathan Osorio, Richie Larea, um, even uh, Io Akinola that night, watching them make runs, carry the ball, dribble past defenders. So um, yeah, uh, we had some amazing moments in that first half. Uh, Grab this shot of Brandon Cervania taking a corner kick. Uh, BMO Field's lighting is incredible. Uh, everything down the west side just illuminates the field so well. And um, it almost felt like it was a bit of a haze in the evening, maybe because of the rain earlier, but um, everything felt a little bit brighter. The lights uh, kind of had this glimmer to them. Um, and just really loved the shot of Brandon kicking the ball. Um, I took a few beforehand, kind of wait until he's about to start his run. Uh, and then hopefully I pull focus and the shot turns out and quite happy with this image here. Um, you know, as you know, Brandon Cervania uh, assisted Michael Bradley on his header. Uh, didn't get the corner kick goal, but I got the whole Michael Bradley celebration. So I'll toss these images up here. Uh, all of these were taken with the 7200. Um, I believe it is either at 3.2 uh, f stop. Um, you know, sometimes with corner kicks, uh, I'll focus on the guy actually taking the corner. Uh, in this instance, I decided to focus on all of the players kind of crowding the net, uh, which worked out really well. Because as soon as it flicked off Bradley's head, uh, you kind of have to listen to see if they're if it scores because you don't you don't you know remove your your eye from the viewfinder. Uh, and then he happened to be in front of the whole crowd. So as soon as he went in, as soon as the crowd cheered, uh, I was able to kind of track Michael Bradley right through his whole celebration. So um, I'll toss a few images up here. So the first one, um, really love this image, especially with the Charlotte players having the, uh, their heads in their hands as Michael Bradley wheels away. Uh, I believe you can see Fede's reaction in the background. Uh, and then this one here, decided to do a vertical crop um, I actually think I took this horizontal and cropped it to five by four vertical. Uh, you can see Jaquil Marshall Reddy in the background as well. Um, and then Michael Bradley eventually wheeled over to Brandon Cervania, gave him a big hug as the rest of the team came over and joined them. So um, decided to edit this one in black and white, which I really love. Uh, Fede and Michael seem to have a bit of a special relationship since Fede joined, um, you know, Michael is the leader of this club. I heard he also speaks a little bit of Italian, so not too surprised that those two guys are getting on. But, um, you know, it was really funny watching this happen in person because Fede just kept rubbing Michael's head um, as, they, as they celebrated his goal. So shooting south at BMO Field is, is probably my favorite angle to shoot there. Uh, I like to line up on the left side of the net. Um, if you line up on the right side, it's also good. You get the whole, you know, east side of the stands in the shot. Um, the only problem is once the opposing team starts their warm-ups for their subs, uh, they can, you know, obviously they can run in front of your camera. So um, the left side tends to be the place I've been setting up lately, especially with the 400 millimeter. Uh, it's amazing to kind of separate that foreground from the background, especially with the south end. Um, in the background, so shots like this of Richie, wow, Richie Larea uh, making his runs past defenders. Um, love to kind of pick up focus as he grabs the ball, um, as he takes on those defenders, kind of rip off a few frames all the way through. So this is one I really loved, especially, you know, like I said, separating that foreground uh, to the background there. So the 400 millimeter when shooting soccer is great because you can start to pick up some of the play uh, around the um, half mark or the halfway line, I guess it's called. Um, so previous seasons, I haven't been able to photograph defenders too often. Uh, and with this season, Toronto FC brought in Raul Petretta, uh, Sigurd Rosted, Matt Hedges. Um, so it's great to get some shots of the new guys. Uh, and I really love this one of Rosted starting to carry the ball towards halfway. Um, I try to look for, you know, elements I can toss in the foreground. So seeing some TFC players, seeing some Charlotte players here, 
just kind of frames the shot really nicely. Um, kind of shows that like they've got a lot to go through to, you know, to make that pass, to make that play forward. Um, and again, just being able to separate that foreground to the background, I think makes, you know, a shot like this really work. And that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. So if you liked it, give me a comment. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to see from a kind of behind the scenes shooting a TFC, let me know. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.